hello everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. We got a nice little event tonight. I guess about 40 minutes or long or so. Uh, we're going to cover a bunch of stuff. Uh, Rene from Texas, he sent us three machines he wanted us to clean up and get going. A Terminator 2 video game, and we're going to show you how the flash lamps in the back are integrated onto the screen through that mirror. Then, a two-player real Ghostbusters video game, one of those kits. We also restore his Marvel vs. Capcom. Actually, we don't restore it. We just get it going. Uh, he just didn't want to put a lot of money into that, but we did. We got it running really well. Uh, then, I'm going to show you some testers that originally we were selling. We ended up making the video you'll see and sending it to someone. He bought the testers, so there's actually a couple left we'll sell. There's a few other things in the video you might want to buy. So that's coming. That's the testers. And then, um, oh, including a, um, some uh, Pace solder stations. So maybe maybe one of you will want to buy some of them. Uh, we have um, a bargain basement pickup. Matt drove here with his wife from New York to pick up this piece of junk. Uh, actually, it's a really nice cabinet. And he sent us coffee, too, on top of that. We got it, like, the week before. Uh, so we had some fun with him. Then a f the young fella from Ohio drove to TNT Museums on a Thursday. And for his birthday, he came home by himself. So we, we had a cake for him. Kind of a quick last-minute cake. And then he stayed the weekend. We had a lot of fun. We took him next door. We explored the warehouse. He helped us work on stuff for the best off for sale. We even showed him how to clean boards. That's all coming. All coming soon. Uh, we also show a mechanical blue chip pinball. We sold that right away. Boy, that went quick. Uh, and uh, eh, the usual corniness. And guess what? We end up in Applebee's. Let's get started! Well, it's done. This is Renee's Terminator 2 we sent to us. We had to put a new Mylar in it. We had, Stephen did repainting where needed. The cabinet was actually in pretty good shape to start, but Stephen had to do his magic, which is the only way you could tell is by rubbing your hand over it. Control panel's been touched up, new red T molding. Of course we have LEDs in here. Monitor, it still runs good. We had to rebuild it. The chassis had to get a flyback, old caps and such, uh, but it still has a good picture. So we were satisfied with that. Of course, it works great. It's Judgment uh, Day. And it's too loud. It's so loud. I want you to see something. So when you play the game, and then I launch a bomb, Now, Kurt is working on Renee's Terminator. He took the glass out and he said, did you ever show the circuit boards behind there? And I said, I don't think we, we showed the explosions, but never the boards. Look, see, there's two boards with 912s in them that create the explosion face. Look on it. See, there's actually four different uh, on each side. So there's eight. So the game can flash all eight in different times. It's not great, and that's all done from this board. This circuit board here runs the flashing and the gun reactions. Oh, okay. Up or not. Right. Yeah, it does. It's really, and then is it just uh, that's what the red gun and then the blue gun. Yeah. Nice. You know what? Let's just put a, a clear piece of plexi in it, okay. and then it'll show the the 
the boards in the back instead. That's messed up. Uh, good, good. Listen, is this? Can we? Can you fix this? Uh, you know, one of my competitors will want this. I, I'll send him that. Now, isn't that neat? Did you know that? Whereas, Frank's just washed the boards, mm -hmm. some Popeye boards. Mm -hmm. He's all excited. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What, are you sure? Wait a minute. Are you sure it's a Popeye board? Did yep. you Listen, three of four of these were bad. They were, the, the guns were all completely sloppy and they didn't work right. So we actually had three of these put in at our usual touches. So this is uh, part one, and of course the most important thing is, in this game, the works are in a drawer. And works in a drawer TV design for ease of service. See, isn't that nice? What a great concept. And the transistor, oh, like the usual stuff. Well, part two is the Ghostbusters. Now, Scott did his own master work on the control panel overlay, but this can come off if he doesn't like it. But he decided he wanted to do this for him. And we did uh, blue and green on the sides. This is a kit, the real Ghostbusters. Johnny, were you aware this came out in 1987 as a three-player game that had the curved face? So there were three joysticks. I want to his toe. Yeah, but Data East decided to release a two-player version with two joysticks. It was sold as a kit. Now somebody put this into, I think this is a frenzy cabinet. I think. It could have been a berserk, but I'm not sure. But we ordered new side art for it. You can buy side art for it. Uh, for it and it's from um, Escape Pod. I knew I'd remember. Uh, we had to change the television. So this is a like new Hell's Gardener, Wells Gardener, uh, that we put in for Renee. So he's got a like brand new monitor, a new power supply. Of course, the we put casters on the bottom. Did you work on this, John? No, on the Scott bottom. Did. Scott did the whole thing. We put a credit button. Now look at this screen. Because this is the new Wells Gardener, the picture is super clear. A, and it's got the colors are super bright. Look at that. Gorgeous. Johnny, do you want to play with me? The game. The game. Can you hear the music coming closer? Join in any time. Now, Johnny and I each have our own control. So if he pushes his, and I'll push mine. We save the city, Johnny. Can we? The television's adjusting. Oh, I just picked that up, whatever it was. I can't get past it. Oh, I died. Got to cross over. Oh, this thing emits stuff. I decide that so these things are coming up and killing me, God. I guess we never learned that. I heard this game was a big hit here, God. Now this button, <clears throat> I think the button next to the other is like a super destructor. Where we go? I don't know. Oh, we have to cross over this. Let's see, and this needs to be in three dimension. I just blew up everything in the corner, so that's what that is. Stuck. I got stuck in the corner. I died. Did I die? No, I'm still alive. I did. You have to hit that good. I think we had to touch that. There we go. So maybe. I don't know. We're on board. I don't know. Board! Renee! Renee's waiting for this baby. Anyway, it did come up nice. Now, Johnny, did you know that I actually appear? 
on the Ghostbusters pinball machine. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! How was that? I did a pretty good appearance, didn't I? Didn't I? So come over here, Johnny. Renee's second game, third game. Game number three, we set this up for an overhaul. Um, the monitor was bad. It was so dim you couldn't even see the picture. It was all out of focus. It turned out the logic board had a problem too. So we had to change that because we had issues. Um, this board is running. Um, it's my only board. There's some, so I think it's in the program, but uh, uh, there it is. So we have a marble superheroes. Um, it could use a new top marquee. But he didn't want any other work done. He said, just get it going, just get it working. We put, did we put a power supply in this? No, we didn't. We didn't have to. So we got it going, so we didn't have to put a lot of dough into this. Now, are you going to be able to pack these up? No. I don't think so. No. Why, why do you do this to me? Well, guess what we're going to show you next? The testers. We have a we got a bunch of pinball testers in, and I decided to try to move them. We made this video you're about to see, and somebody already bought them. But since I like the video so much, I thought I'd run it for you anyway. Here we go. This is very unusual. We have not one but two testers coming from two different places. This is the one I got up in Scranton. Okay. Um, I put a logic board. I laid one here. We're going to give that in this. I, I don't know what the status is now. Earlier, we actually had a light, didn't we, Kurt? We had power coming up we there. We had power. Let's just see it. There's a glimpse of it right yeah. there. Yeah. It's a high voltage. Uh, anyway, um, it's yeah. It, it, these are going to need extensive cleanup and work. This hinge is that's actually rusty, Kurt. Oh, there's some chips laying in here too. Uh, so this is now this is the one Joe had. So this has more stuff on it, including the test drum. It didn't have the driver board on it, but it's dead. It's a door. Oh no, it does that. But I don't get any high voltage. And the soundboard here, Kirk just found, doesn't work, but it has some caps in it. I'm surprised it doesn't work. There's nothing on it. Oh, it's missing the big cap. Uh, anyway, morning. well. Anyway, so we're going to sell it. Oh, look, look, I'm, it's working. <laughs> anyway, so, and then now this looks like it's an additional, uh, I don't know what that is. Look, it still has, look in here, look, Kurt. Let's see, test fixture. Three of five. Does that still have a sticker in it? No. So, anyway, well, they're, they're solid wood. Uh, we're we're going to ship a back to back on a pallet, so we'll, um, uh, it, you know, we'll see what we can do here. Um, I have no idea what anything else does, but the wiring is all here. Both machines look like everything is there, and there doesn't seem to be anything that's physically rusty, except in fact that that hinge. That's pretty ugly there, but test fixture wires five volts, five amp power supply. Maybe that's inside it, Kurt. Maybe there's another power supply in there. Oh, look. I'll bet you it's in there. Mm. But anyway. Now this, the LED did light over here, right? Yeah. Yep, it's lit. So that on off. This one doesn't light, but it's clearly on. Hmm. So, what's a good price for the pair? That's what we have to come up with. Well, those William testers were pretty good, huh? But look. I have an original, cleverly marked, board tester. Somebody went all out there, didn't they, Curdy? I'm bored. I'm bored with this already. Look at this. Very nice. Like brand new. It even comes with an instruction book in not one or two, but four different languages. Mm. Now, what do you think of that, Curdy? Impressive. See, there's German. Dear Gottlieb. Maybe it's three languages. The La Simulator. French. 
French. Uh, maybe it's just two. Creeps. I thought you just read it in German. I wasn't paying attention. Was there no German in there? I just did. German. That's three, though. German? Well, and, and plus the English. That's yeah, three but, languages, buddy. Yeah, but I don't. I called it about foreign languages, not You didn't say English. foreign languages. Like you said three languages. You said how many languages? Four. There is what you got. See? I can still work the fingers. 1932. Welcome to 1932. Well, people Excuses. still laugh. Oh. People laugh when I do this. Oh, boy. Oh. Anyway, look. I, mm -hmm. The Gottlieb, I should have guessed there were just two languages. Still three in there. Two foreign ones. <laughs> you didn't say that. This English doesn't count as a language. Oh, it's not a language? Okay. Now, look. What makes this unique yes. is it does not plug in. To the wall. Mm -hmm. So it see, show the wall. The this wall, is a wall. It doesn't plug into the wall. So what does it do? It plugs into the game. What? So the idea was, Kurt, you would carry this into the customer's home. <laughs> la di da di da di da da di da. I can see. Hi. <laughs> I'm here to test your game. And then you would pop off. The Velcro backing! Velcro from 1978! Oh my goodness. Look, the little thing. I see the customer's jaw dropping right now. What is he doing? And then Kurt would cleverly remove the cabling. Yep. Easy. Original Gottlieb cabling. One, two, three. Okay. Mm -hmm. And see, there's no power cord, Curdy. I see that. And do you know why? Tell us. Because it gets its power out of the system one. The 13 different system one games. Maybe there's 14. This goes on your driver board. The four connectors on the bottom of a system one. And then this clicks, co connects to the test point. There's actually something that says test point in the head of the machine, this alligator clip. And then this goes on the ground, the green lug on the ground. That's the power coming in. Nice. That powers the machine. And then this plugs into the logic board. This the front door switches and the playfield switches. And it's cleverly marked Eva. Which I just don't know what it means. But once you're there, that means the playfield is disconnected and all the switches. And you would use these buttons and see if the switches light up on your panel. And then this button would indicate that the out hole to so one of these lights. So all the lights would light. So this way you could actually test the circuit boards to make sure A, all the switches are working, and B, all the light bulbs and solenoids are running. Simulated. Then you isolate with your problem. So if one of the lights doesn't come on, then you know it's the board, not the game. Mm -mm -mm. So it's a very helpful unit. And Kurt, you used this hundreds of times, didn't you? Yep, I'd skip into their house with that. I could just see you coming into the door. Skipping down their drive. Do you know what's even amazing, more amazing? Now, this is a beautiful shape, but we have more testers that we got out of this place that we want to show you. What's interesting, too, is their Gottlieb System 1, these are for your shop, and System 80, a dart machine, a Merrick dart machine tester. And finally, a, um, what was the third? A, a poker game tester. So, they're in the warehouse. Let's take a look at them. Now, what we have here are some testers. Um, this is a Gottlieb System 80 tester. Because I can tell because of the numbers and the letters uh, on it. So, according to what I'm seeing, this would be the uh, driver board, A3, J3, so you put your driver board here, okay, and uh, this would be a display, a seven digit display, this would be um, right here, your credit display here, okay, uh, there's other connectors here, uh, I didn't get anything, else. this is, I didn't get any instructions or anything. But this panel lifts up, and it looks like the logic board to run everything would be kept down here, okay, to operate the system. And then these would be your series of tests to be able to simulate the different things on the machine. 
So this was the System 80. We have it plugged in, but God, they're all dead as a doornail. Um, this is a a tester for a I think a, a, it's a, like a Mega Touch system. So uh, that's dead as a door. Everything's dead as a doornail. And now this is a dart machine tester for Merit. Are you sure? Sure, it's a dart machine tester for Merit. <laughs> Creep. That is a door. Oh, there's no power supply. This would be the power supply here. So it looks like somebody fabricated this because they had no options. Look, another Gottlieb tester. This is a System One. Oh! <laughs> it glows. Yes. Anyway, uh, well, there's power getting to it. There's an out hole. The switch matrix. There they are. Well. This is the what a gem. How do you do? Well, four testers. As and one no light goes. Hmm. There's no lid, but the light comes on now. Boy, that, we, we got some signs of life, didn't we? Anyway, there we have them. Uh, well, test a, Tester City. There's also a, a whole box full of... Pay solder yeah. soldering stations too. Well, I don't know if there's a box full, but there's two or two or three. So I don't know if they would be of interest. There's nah, you've got three, maybe have four so down there. Much stuff. God, we're never gonna get through it all. Oh I know we will. We will. So there that that's where we stand. There's a, a de there's a desoldering system. So, anyway. Here. Race driving. Oh look. Somebody must have taken a bunch of parts out of their race driving. Oh uh, yeah, how good. That? That's from an asteroid. Is that still in the wood platform? The first run of asteroids. Or a lunar lander. Let's see which one. I you know how you tell, right? You just turn it over like this. Check out the burning. Asteroids. One coin, one play. It still has the, the numbers. Think of the money this <coughs> that monitor made. Think of thousands and of hours that game was on. And it probably made about 40 bucks. No, it made a lot more than that. Well, I think they did pretty well with that. Uh, are the lights off in here? Now, did you enjoy that little tour de force? Thank you. Hey, uh, Stephen, uh, there's some, some fool was coming to pick up that Super Street Fighter. That piece Nobody of crap. That. Did he show up? His name is Matt. Oh, Matt! Hey. I didn't know you were here. I was just talking nice. Ni I was just saying how, what a nice guy you are. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Wasn't I? Yes, you were. <laughs> he knew. I told him I was going to say that. <laughs> we took the journey all the way from New York they to came, And how long a drive? About two and a half. Two and a half hours. Yeah. This is one of the bargain basements. Some bargain. <laughs> <laughs> well, we yeah. did put a new power supply in it. And it has a, it has a, a fairly new Cortec monitor in it. That was newer than when the game was new. And he's, you're going to keep it as a, uh, a CPS? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he's going to keep it and put other games Hopefully, in it. yeah, look for a Super Street Fighter 2 type of model. Well, yeah, this, this you can get. You can get, but this is hard plastic. I think the ones they sell now, there's the new power supply there. Okay, nice. Now, the last owner used what we call the duct tape, tape system right. to hold the cartridges together, mm -hmm. which you really have to do. However, in your house, you don't because you're not going to be shaking it. Right. So you'll be able to switch... Uh, uh, computers whenever you want. Okay. Games. Do you have a lot of games? Yeah. I've Are already, you filming me too? <laughs> I already bought like three, still so I already bought like three things. things from you from the Saturday auctions. You did. It's Count Hologram. That's who I Count? The, this is the Count. <laughs> did you, did, you're not picking anything up today from the auction, right? No. no okay. No. He is going to watch. Robbie, you're the cameraman. You're supposed to be intuitive. So when I said something to him and he responded, you're supposed to take Mr. Camera over and film him, just smack him in the head like with that. It. <laughs> and then when he's finished talking, 
you bring it back, and if she's talking like that, do you see? Do you see? You're such a nice guy. Yeah, isn't this great? How see? Are you? What do you think? Do you, yeah, do you like this hobby? I like yes, this. absolutely. See? Do you see how? I'm so mean to him. <laughs> now, now, see if you can get this, right. because he, he's about, oh, wait a minute, there's, there's something on oh, your glasses. Oh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> you got the sound effect? <laughs> now, what we're going to do next, we're going to load this, 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 boob, this guy up. I was going to say boob, but we're going to, he's going to pull to the back. I have a shop full of guys that just disappeared, because they know there's work involved. Yes. So, Robbie, it's going to be you loading it up. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Matthew. Yes. You sent me a box. I didn't open it yet. I knew your name was familiar. Oh, yeah. There's something at you. Oh, gosh. Ah. Honey butter, honey butter potato chips. To Todd. From one ca caffeinated creature of the night to another. Count hologram. And look, he's got Brooklyn Lab. God, two. Two coffees. Look at this. Do you see how he treats me? He loves me. Oh, I think your Twippy is in there too. My Twippy! Oh, was... oh, we lost again. Again! I can't win for nothing. That eight year old kid opened up Toys One again. That rotten. <laughs> <laughs> they robbed you. I was what? Honey butter. Yeah. I like it. You like everything. I'm eating. I know that. <laughs> what are you? And the screwdriver tore it open. Are you from Japan? <laughs> from Japan. Thank you very much. We're going to give them four casters. What do you want? Four of these. I was getting them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be easy to do. Here you go, we're gonna get the casters for you and you're gonna do it, right? Um, they're only a little rusted, on Oh God, I didn't, oh, thank you, I didn't do that. It. Not me. It's a beautiful, beautiful how, how many stooges does it take to change a caster? I'll have Robbie do the other. <laughs> we'll get them done quick. It, when you buy it in the bargain basement, we don't do everything. But look, I'm giving them four new ones. And you know why? Because I'm better than my wretched, horrible competitors. This is wonderful. This is wonderful, Matt. Oh, wait a minute. Something's wrong. I can't taste it. <laughs> it is I just got another thumbs down. I know. We're breaking rules. This is really nice. And I, I'm having the 408 Fahrenheit. But there's a 412 Fahrenheit. But that's going to stay sealed until I get to it. Thanks again. Of course. <sighs> now, remember the rules. If you buy a game from me, you really should bring coffee, too. But he actually shipped this to us, I guess, two weeks ago, yeah. right? And you don't get to wear a mask if you uh, buy a game. That's right. What? <laughs> well, well, we both had the COVID. So yeah, that's true. So, yeah. It's gone through us already. But we wear this, you know, for to make people happy. Thanks again, young man. Thank you. Okay, take it easy, and thank you for filming. You're welcome. You turn the camera around. There we are, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Now, imagine my surprise when a man called me, his name is Steve. He said he wanted to celebrate his birthday at TNT. Well, that's nothing new there. We've been doing parties here for years. Haven't we, Jonathan? Sure. You can see Jonathan is very involved. Well. We booked him for a two-hour party here on Friday, and he showed up, and there he is. Today's Thursday. Yeah, this is it Thursday. Is it Thursday? Thursday? <laughs> yeah. Oh! I, I, I should know. How old are you? Uh, 30. He's officially 30. Now, I, I said, oh, are you local? He says, not really. I said, oh, uh, where are you from? He said, Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio? Yeah. He drove all the way here to meet you, idiot boys, and feed you. He bought the Certainly pizza. He wanted to meet you. Oh. The heart yeah. of rock and roll. Maybe. Maybe. He came. He's <laughs> here to the two-hour party. You're our furthest person just for, just for party. And now we're very impressed. So we went out, and I got you a banana cake. 
No way. He got, he got all dressed up for you. He wore a shirt. <laughs> Seriously. And I wore a shirt without a single tear in it. And he ate half of the banana cake, just to let you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sorry, well, well actually, my, my, my daughter bought it and didn't like it, so she said I could bring oh. it. Oh, 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 oh to celebrate a birthday. So we're going to have to do a candle, right? I, I can make a candle appear suddenly. Here, watch. There it is. Look. There you are. Uh, we have to make you 28 today. Oh, I didn't, that's even I mean, better. I, I couldn't find 3-0. Don't you lose two years? See, you lost two years, see? Yeah. Okay, you creep. You can't say that. So happy birthday to Stephen. Boys, all say it. Happy, happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Go ahead. Here, I'll, I'll take this in the most COVID yeah. responsible way possible. There you go. COVID? There it is. You did it. The COVID <laughs> out. Good. Good stuff. Now, I thought it would be good to take Steven over to the warehouse. I guess to put that in. I like doing that, you know. There we go, my man. We promised some new stuff next door. And look, some of it may end up here. My poor monitor. Look, ticket thing counters from a uh, ski ball or something. Uh, monitor stands. This is all essential stuff. Mm -hmm. And we just got in trade, uh, Stephen, a blue chip mechanical thimble. A what? They said it's the most famous machine of all time. I don't think I've ever heard of it. Blue chip. Oh, blue chip. Okay. Kids go bonkers for blue chip. Here it is. Oh, wow. I wonder if it works. Well, she told you it did. Yeah, the lady said it worked like a dream. But, you know, I, this is the first time I'm seeing it. Look, there's a shuffle alley like a box. It's pretty worn. What? It looks like new. Looks like the games. All right, here we go. There. Oh, oh, a stupid woman would have it. There we go. Loading. Oh God! Oh, it wow. did, wow. did start. I thought it was gonna sit there. Here, let's see. It, it works. Looks, uh, so, Bruce, you were wrong as usual. No, the play feels worn. No, oh, the lady, the la it works. You said it didn't. Well, that's what she told me. Blue chip. It even dispenses the ball electronically. Oh, that witch! She lied to me! That doesn't pop it out. Oh, God. That's the end of it. Sell it for scrap. I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. Uh, that much? <laughs> All right, let's see what treasures uh, Stephen. Now, Stephen is going to stay locally overnight. Oh, he's been doing this tonight. Like, the Applebee's Corporation. Maybe we'll even let him play this Led Zeppelin. That's an empty box. Hear the guns? Oh, yes. yeah, okay. I thought that was a machine. That's no. A, that's actually someone shooting guns. Uh-huh. Yep, they're practicing killing uh, me. Probably. Like they said, they put the racks in here. These are board racks. I've seen those before. Well, these aren't board racks. They're just freaking racks. He said they had slits in them. The well, they do have slits in them. They do. It's better racks than rats. Maybe That's you can true. set the boards like on an angle and they sit in the in the holes. Uh, I have to get somebody in here to put these lamps in here. We have a lot of bulbs out. Or bulbs. Bubs. Bubs. Now, he said he brought over some treasures. Well, one man's treasure is another man's trash. Look, double dragon. Oh, the ROMs are missing. <sighs> Junk. What's this one? Oh, oh the ROMs are Jeez. What does he think I'm going to do with these in a whole stack of System 80s? Oh, God. 
Well, we're going to have 20 System 80 boards in one batch you no, can buy for oh, cheap. I'm sorry, these are System 1s. Okay, System 1 Game boards in. Gallery. <clears throat> so, what are we going to do with these boards? Can we throw them off the roof? <laughs> what, baby? Can we throw them off the roof? That is cleaned. See, I guess he was going to try to fix that from the battery damage. The battery leaked all over it. <sighs> Batteries. Great. This isn't the treasure trove I was hoping for. Put it right in the dumpster. Uh, no, not nothing. Well, here's a centipede. No, that's an XY game. Missing chips. Lunar Lander. Nobody wants that. Actually, they do. So we will take that over. That'll be in the auction. A Lunar Lander board. They're hard to get. There's a centipede. Board is locked up. Screen displays garbage. Well, that's a pretty good answer. So, asteroids. Yeah, we're going to have look asteroids. That's uh, deluxe asteroids. I'll bet. Let's see. Yep, asteroids deluxe. Uh, asteroids deluxe. I said it wrong. Deluxe. Another asteroids. A deluxe. My God. Isn't that amazing, Bruce? A lot of games. Think of all the games these came out of mm -hmm. that were junked. Yep. Oh God, it's my board. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's too great. Too. He's got my sticker on it. Well, at least you know where it went. I did. Right yes. to hell. Like seen an old friend. How many years that's, ago did you send that board out? That's our sticker. T dead. That's, it has the processor in it. Another centipede. Now, no, nope, I was going to say this has possibilities, but it's missing the ROMs. See, once he told me, once they're missing ROMs, he said probably the board doesn't work. So... Missile Command. Hell's Bells. Finally a different board. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this. Wait a minute. Maybe this box has... Oh, I'm getting out of the way here. Goodies in it. Look at this rocker. It's a golf game. Leland. <laughs> It's Indy Heat. This is a three-player driver, complete with corrosion and goo. I don't know what that is. Good times. Indy Heat. They said that was the future. Here go. Now here's a nice one. A Donkey Kong board with all the ROMs taken out. Thank you. You leave the ROMs in. I was going to say we had a chance. This looks like a WrestleFest ROMs missing. He's probably got a whole truckload of ROMs sitting in the I'll shell. Tell him later. Oh God, is that? That's a Donkey Kong three with the ROMs out. God. Look, a treasure trove, and I've put the boy to work. But I'm going to feed him tonight. So everybody, we all work for food. Is that the right? Yeah, it is the right one. I think so. Okay, Bruce. So we're going this way. Yep. Yep. Out we go. We have to close this door to activate the alarm. There we go. Whoops. Go <coughs> An adventure of boards. What will we find? Shall we put the lad, show him how to test stuff, or we're going to show him how to wash stuff? Yeah, let him, let him test it first. Why not? This way we don't have to wash stuff that doesn't work. <laughs> I hear a game working. Kids go bonkers for blue chip. Okay, now Stephen, this is an example. Well, this side isn't that bad, but you can notice all the crud on this board. So I'm going to teach Stephen how to do it. Now, whoever buys the board will have to reflow solder. You can see these transistors are as loose as a goose, what we call cold solder connections. They're all ice cold. This is what happens after 40 years. If you reflow them, they'll probably be fine. But what we're going to do is bring it over here. I'm going to show Stephen oh, how to geez. do it. 
and then he's going to do the next board. The next so 20 you turn boards. Turn the water on warm. It's got to be warm water. Warm water. Mm -hmm. Make sure you they see this. We've mm -hmm. shown this before. You get a paintbrush and you put it in pure, unadulterated, simple green. This is actually, we buy gallons of it and it's the kind you mix with water. So this is something called pure simple green. You get the board wet. Yeah. Then you paint the board with a simple green, like so. Okay, so you yeah. paint. It's not gonna hurt the ships. Nothing's gonna get hurt. It goes down. You immediately then plug this right into your game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then stand back. And then whatever pop, oh. no, you have to replace. It's got I a nice minty it. smell to it. Yes, it's a, uh, you know what? I can smell it. I can. There we go. My smell is starting to come back, gentlemen. And then the final rinse. Now sometimes you have to go over it and you missed a spot. And then it goes into, we have a very expensive, it's a circuit board drying system. I must have spent over a thousand dollars on the special machine. The man said that it, it works like a, like a charm. Now you do an initial drip dry like that. Let's just get some soap. So. See? Now the last step, of course, once again, they're going to have to resolder all these. But there's a very good chance this board works. Other than the missing, these probably fell out because of the cold solder. Now that expensive machine. Yeah, come over here. Now this machine, uh, Stephen, has three settings: low, medium, and high. Now in the case of this board, we want to see rapid action. We would want to set the computer uh, this, the dial on high. Oh, it looks like Kurt is already using this. If you come around this way, Bruce. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we have it on high now. Are we th allowed to show this? I have over $1,000 into this machine. See, you can see we keep it clean, too. Yeah, yeah. You have to keep these devices crisp, crisp. I would think that, I don't know, did this guy patent Bring this machine yet? the camera up this way, like this. You have to keep it crisp and clean. Are you exhausted? Oh yeah, I, I'm feeling it. Now, Stephen is staying at a bed and breakfast in Rydal, Jacobton. You tell Elkins me. Elkins Park. Yeah, Elkins that's, Park. It. that's the one. But he and, and of course, right there, my Bruce, what? got all this crap ready. But guess what? We're going to go out to Applebee's to celebrate. And you know how we go? Do you know how we go? We go like this. Questions and answers. That might be next year. Well, thank you very much. We're all at Applebee's. We just finished, didn't we, gentlemen? We stuffed ourselves. Stuffed ourselves. Stuffed. The one that stuffed the most of us right there. See, he's got a pick on you. You lost 20 pounds. Did he lose 20 pounds? I don't think so. Anyway, thanks again, folks. We all appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Good you. Night. Thanks. We're always eating. We had a good time that night. Didn't we? Was this video fun? And look what came from this week in pinball. What came? Congratulations on your Twippy Award and thank you for everything you do. Hey, Todd. Thank you for all that you do and keep up the incredible work. Jeff. Well, I didn't get, quite get the tip, Whippy. I got a consolation prize. I'm a finalist for the favorite pimple channel. But I didn't win the big prize! No! <laughs> you can watch that video up there. Thanks for watching tonight, guys. Good night. If we can dream of